No, I'm not feeling anything there. Okay, to cut a long story short, I tore the wind turbine to pieces thinking that it was different on the inside than it actually was. But if you watch the video, you'll see what I mean. Peace. Bugger. Looks like it's going to have to be hack the top off. I'm going to pause for a bit because it's getting really hot. I'm not even sure if I've actually made it through anywhere yet. Obviously that's not very level, but I'm more worried about not getting anything in my eye. I have got safety glasses on. So I'm going in at a little bit of an angle and I just want to try and find a bit, know that I've poked through. Right, let's crack on. We've definitely got clear light of day there, my friends. So it is definitely on. Uh, it's taken me about 15 minutes just to break through a couple of bits, especially where it's welded. Uh, but it shouldn't take long. I'm gonna go in and have a cup of tea and uh, dry my camera off, etc., etc. Let the casing cool down and I'll be back in a bizzle for the next one. So I'm getting there. I had a couple of nasty incidents. Uh, one involving the disc getting caught and uh, destroying itself. So I'm taking it super slow. I'm just trying to get that back plate off. This one down here. That's the only one I haven't started yet, this weld. Whew. Some dirty, stressful grinding. Remember when I said we wouldn't be hitting it? I lied. Oh, she's ready to come off. Hopefully we haven't completely milled it. Oh no, it's not, it's not even gonna come off, is it? I don't think. Whoa. Yeah, so I've cut through there and it's still not going to come off. That is very annoying. That is very annoying. Well, while I wasn't recording, I gave it a few heavy smashes. And... Yes, right. Let's get it laid down again. So, that's what is inside the rotor. Now, it probably wasn't the best decision to hack it apart. It's completely different from how I thought it would be. all the uh, filings from me grinding it open anyway what happened was I ground that off and I started trying to separate it and I lifted the turbine up and give it a few whacks and the front just came off eventually it did not want to come off before and as someone has said it was probably because of that bearing there look uh, oh well I don't know if that will be the end of the wind turbine but we shall see. Hard to tell if there's anything wrong with this. Can't see anything obvious.
I was expecting there to be a separate motor inside this casing. So to use it again will require this welding back on there. Whether I can do it accurately enough, I don't know. But it wasn't really worth keeping for just making 50 watts anyway. Anyway, that's where we are at the moment. And there's the rotor so you can see it. Anyway, unsure what I'm gonna do with this and if you'll ever see it again. I guess I'll have to have a go at welding it back on, won't I? But then, if you can't see what's wrong with it, there's no point, is there? So yeah, I'll hit you an update in the next few days, see what I decide to do, but it's pretty much considered non-functional at the moment of a close-up of the iron filings on the magnet rotors will it be possible to weld that back on in line who knows who knows let me know what you think if it's worth a try peace sorry i just need to say there's 16 coils not 32 i said there was 32 they're in sorry for being misleading i'm going to try and measure the thickness of the wire but my calipers aren't super mega ac accurate but what it's saying is, it's saying point, around point 0.8. So basically point 0.8 of a millimeter. So it is very thin wire. As I said, I can't really see anything wrong with it that meant it might have, uh, might have been causing it to just make 50 watts maybe I, might, I just made a right mess of the blades but i can't see that i'm just going to measure the magnets for anyone who is interested oops ah oh, measuring magnets there's a pain in the ass right hang on a sec so 25 mil you see Maybe one inch, I'm expecting this to be 50. Sorry, I'm being a bit, a bit stupid here. That's actually saying over 50, so. Oh, sorry, it's, it's trying to magnetize it. It's saying 52 and a half. So, and the thickness. Thickness is saying 5.5, but I'm sure they'll be embedded in there somewhere, if that is the correct word. You can see it's quite a big bearing. Let's see what size that is. Zero. The bearing is saying 71 mil. Seventy-one point five mil is what the bearing is saying. In case anyone is interested, so I just want to explain. I've probably already explained. It. This turned out completely different than what I thought it would have done. And if I'd have realised it was like this, I was expecting there to be a separate motor inside this casing. Uh, so obviously, this is ninety-nine point nine percent completely ruined now. Uh, I may or may not. Uh, well, I will have a go at welding the case back on, but I ju just don't expect it to work. So, do I regret doing it? In a way, yes, but then if it's only going to make 50 watt, 50 watts in a 20 mile an hour wind, I'm sure you agree there isn't a lot of point in having it up. I could put the electric bike uh, wind turbine back up, but I'll probably end up doing that. So, so yes, pretty much our IP wind turbine gave us a few laughs. Uh, made a couple of cool videos of it, the one with the first one where I was using the meter. Uh, if I do wish to put the electric bike wind turbine back on, which I probably will because it's a bit of a unique uh, wind turbine and I really like the design, then this malarkey here that I made myself, got a weird magnet stuck to it, this that I made myself will just come off and then the electric bike wind turbine will go on here. So this was quite a success really, this thing that I made, although it looks a bit rusty, 
for a first time effort at making something like that so that I could then put the turbine on which came like this I was pretty happy with that that was a albeit it's all made out of scrap you know bits wedged in and stuff but I painted it properly and the welding's pretty good uh, what I'll do is I'll make a video about that when it's all taken down and just show you it again so yes yeah, probably seen the last of that uh, if you think there's something else I could do other than trying to weld the case back on, then please let me know. And I'm sorry to everyone to brutalise this wind turbine, but it was only making 50 watts and that ain't enough, my friends. It's better than nothing, but it ain't good enough. So if you want have any questions or any comments, leave them. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.